two local lifestyles, well, Deadpool and Wolverine is opening this weekend in theaters, but you might not be up to date on all of the movie's references and prequels, so our film critic, Jim Hunter, is here to help fill in all the gaps. This is a movie that you've been telling me you might have to do a little homework. <laughs> yeah, it's welcome to 21st century filmmaking, right. where it's not just go see a movie, you also have to do homework okay. to understand all okay. the references. Okay. So I will, for some people who yeah. may be going with Marvel aficionados and aren't up to date on all these things, right. here are some things that you might want yeah, to Yeah, and I'm kind of one of those people. I was telling you this. Um, mm -hmm. One of my daughters loves all the Marvel stuff. I don't love it, but I don't mind it either, but sure. I, I don't pay close enough attention, so I, I could use. I could use some help. So well, I hope so. Give it to so, me, Jim. <laughs> um, it, Loki Season 1. This is okay. a Disney Plus series. Yes, In this it. series, it has introduced what's called the Time Variance Authority. This is a group of uh, uh, an organization that cuts off timelines in the multiverse. So that okay. means that we've got one timeline, and then if a character goes right. outside of the norm, it branches off to another okay. timeline. TVA comes in and, and okay. cuts that off. So this will kind of help explain that to us. Exactly. Okay. They're a major organization in the film, and the film doesn't do a good job of really explaining who the TVA are. Gotcha. Ultimately, what you need to know is they're like the time police right. who keeps the universe in order so in to check. speak. Gotcha. It does. The film doesn't reference the end of Loki, so if you understand Loki season one, you're okay. in a good okay. place there. Okay. Perfect. We can do that. Great. Second <laughs> thing you need to know is that there was a merger between Disney and Fox. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so it's, so it's, it's a movie in which you actually have to like have a subscription to the Hollywood Reporter <laughs> to be able to understand all of the references. So the Disney Fox merger caused some of the characters that were owned by Fox and some of the characters that were owned by Disney. Now that it's one. Okay. They, those characters can cross over. The X-Men characters and mm -hmm. familiarizing yourself with the cast list of other Fox movies might allow you to get some of the jokes, some of the more obscure okay. jokes in this thing. And you said there's a lot of jokes in this movie. It's funny. Exactly. Okay. It's more of a comedy than it right. is an action okay. movie. It's a joke a minute and there's a lot of big laughs in the film. So okay. understanding that there's a Disney-Fox merger and that right. the reason why Deadpool is now in the MCU is because of these corporate merger that I guess you have I to guess. know that is that would be uh, essential to getting okay. some of those jokes and familiarizing yourself with the cast le list of some of those other films might also be important okay. as That's well step two there you Third. go and if you see the original Deadpool, the first okay. Deadpool movie, so you can familiarize yourself with the character. The character is a fourth wall breaking character. That means he realizes that he's in a movie and familiarizing yourself with the power sets of that mm -hmm. character might be important as well. If you want to do extra credit homework, oh my <laughs> here we go, <laughs> then seeing the original uh, X-Men on okay. in uh, 2000, that might also be important as well. Okay. Hopefully I've done all of this that avoids yeah. any spoilers because I, think, yeah. uh, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of references in the film. Right. Many of those are quite are surprises. So I'm hoping that people will have a little bit of a background as they yeah. go into the Which film. Which will be helpful and help them enjoy it even more. Exactly. Your thoughts on it? My thoughts were I gave it 3.5 okay. stars. I think the references overtake the movie a little bit. Okay. But aside from that, I think it's a good time at the films. So. Okay, awesome. Jim Hunter, thank My you pleasure. as always. You helped us out a lot. Today. I hope so. I hope we so. appreciate it. Thank and we'll be right back with more local lifestyles right after this.